name is Michelle. I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I'm still not comfortable with the word survivor or incest survivor. And I may not ever be comfortable with those words. But I know that I'm alive and I'm here today. This went on from, from two, the age of two. Well, the last time that something happened to me, I was in my 20s. My mother was a very hard, hard worker. She, I don't even remember her in my life as far as like playing with me or showing me how to, you know, normal things, homework. Because she was always working, trying to support us. And so my mother married uh, three times. She married my dad, and then she married my second stepfather, who uh, moved us around. We lived in uh, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Mexico, Honduras, Belize. Um, the cool part about that is I had a monkey for a pet. Not many people can say they had a monkey for a pet, so I did. But the uncool part about that is um, I was severely molested constantly by him and um, by his son. And it just became kind of a normal routine, you know. I could go hide wherever we were. I'd create a playground. Um, I remember I tried to sit down and, and tell my mom. Um, and to this day, she says I never told her. But um, I know I know that I did. My third stepfather, he was paranoid schizophrenic, and he thought that the only way for women to get to heaven was to sleep with him. And so, I mean, this was this was reoccurring over and over and over again. I got jumped by three or four Spanish men at Lee Park, and. Um, the only thing I remember is they cut the strings of the guitar to hold me down. And um, to this day, I still can't play. Um, I sit down at the keyboard and I sit down <clears throat> to play the piano and I don't remember how to play. Um, so that's why it's important to me that we send a message of healing and hope. Um, and it's okay to be, I guess, quote unquote, a survivor. Because everybody goes through things in life that make them who they are today. You don't have to remain silent about it. You, know, you don't have to hide in your closet, you know, and scribble on notes and hide it in the bed so nobody can hear it uh, or read it or see it. that it's okay to talk about it. Music is my release, it's how I, uh, the songs that I write, the melodies, uh, they are, well, it's my diary. The songs that I'm writing now are very much about healing. Being able and being thankful for the gift that God gave me to be able to sing and write about it and uh, perform it, uh, the possibilities possibilities of what's going to happen in the future. Um, being a mother, a beautiful daughter, um, being a partner, being a daughter, and a friend. Only to maybe two, but I'm hoping to expand that a little bit. But um, that's what brings me joy, is being able to be here. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I believe in the